This is Dante Williams. Are you watching? Dante's. 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 Boxing Nation. This is Showtime Sean Porter. Filipino Flash. Jesse Burgess. This is Al Bernstein. You're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. I'm sure we're ready to check Shane. Search over the last name, Morgan. Dante's. 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 Boxing Nation. Boom, 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 boom. Yo, this is Deontay the Bronze from the Wilder. My name is Gennady Golovkin. And you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. Hi, this is Julian Jackson, and this is Dante Boxing Nation. This is Julian Jackson, and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. <laughs> All right. You got a cramp or something or what? <laughs> a cramp? <laughs> Sure you are right. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on guys? Well, as I predicted, 2016 is going to be an epic year of boxing. It was just reported today that Andre Ward versus Sullivan Barrera is official for March 26. You know, first of all, I meant to start this video off and tell you guys that um, we actually did the radio show this week and I'm still trying to upload the video been having some problems trying to upload it something is wrong with the file so um, I'm converting the file it was a L I think it was a FLV file and now I'm trying to convert it to MP4 because I tried to upload it before the audio wasn't working so we're gonna try it again and hopefully hopefully it'll be uploaded later on tonight Okay, so with that out the way, let's get into this fantastic news once again. Andre Ward is fighting against the undefeated Cuban sensation Sullivan Barrera. This is Andre Ward's first fight at 175, and he's going up against a beast in Sullivan Barrera. This is a very, very intriguing fight. This is a hell of a stepping stone. And I'm not saying that Barrera is a stepping stone because there's no guarantee Ward will beat him. But I'm just saying this is a hell of a preparation to get a bigger fight against Sergey Kovalev, assuming Sergey Kovalev continues to win. Because for those of you guys that didn't know, Andre Ward and Sergey Kovalev, they have already signed an agreement to fight each other this year towards the end of the year. Now, it's interesting because I always say to some of these decafs, it's pretty easy talking from the outside looking in. But the problem is when you do that, and especially when you're speaking with emotions and you just personally don't like someone and it really has nothing to do with boxing, you end up making yourself look stupid. And that's what a lot of these decafs have done when it comes to talking about Andre Ward. People talked about how Andre Ward, he ain't going to fight Barrera. He's scared. He's trying to give them pennies, and he really doesn't want the fight. You know, he's just one of these people on the coincidental list that just has a permanent yellow streak down his back, is what they were basically trying to say on some Joe Lewis or some Jack Johnson type shit is what I should really say. But as always, at the end of the day, decafs are always confronted with what? The whole truth you remember it wasn't too long ago when people were complaining about Andre Ward's return match the fact that it was going to be on Canelo's undercard and they were complaining about the opponent why is he fighting Alexander Brand you see just because Andre Ward doesn't you know speak to the public a whole lot and try to counter everything that a decaf says it doesn't mean Andre Ward is agreeing with you obviously right See, because while you guys were trying to accuse Andre Ward of fighting a bum and et cetera, et cetera, trying your best to criticize Andre Ward, like all of a sudden he's the scariest fighter in the world. What you didn't know is, and this is according to Sullivan Barrera's trainer, did you guys know that Andre Ward had been negotiating with Sullivan Barrera all the way back then before he even tried to get an Alexander Brand fight? Oh yeah, Andre Ward had been negotiating to get this Sullivan Barrera fight for a very long time. 
it just wasn't reported. So now that this fight is official, I also want to talk about Sullivan Barrera. You know, like I said before, I give Sullivan Barrera a lot of credit for taking a fight like this. He's going against pound for pound the best fight in the world. And the reason why the majority of boxers and trainers that I talk to, they often pick Ward as pound for pound the best fight in the world is because when you think of an opponent for Andre Ward, you can't really think of anybody that can beat him, right? It's kind of like Floyd Mayweather. You really knew there was nobody that was going to beat Floyd Mayweather. And he proved that. When it comes to Andre Ward, it's very difficult to favor someone over him. That's why he's considered the best fighter in the world. I've heard diehard Golovkin fans insinuate that Andre Ward would beat their fighter because he's too big, because he's at a higher weight class, etc., etc. Andre Ward is trying to bully Golovkin. You know, like Golovkin all of a sudden is just this little fragile coward or something. And he can't deal with the, the big bad bully. This is how they try to make it sound. But if you guys notice, Andre Ward, he practices what he preaches. Because now, Andre Ward is doing exactly what fans were asking Golovkin to do. Why don't you move up to a higher weight class, fight the big bad bully, and beat him? This is what Andre Ward is attempting to do. Not only is he going up to fight Kovalev, but before he fights Kovalev, he has to get past another big bad bully. And his name is Sullivan Barrera. And Sullivan Barrera ain't no damn joke. Once again, I had the privilege of watching Sullivan Barrera and Gennady Golovkin train live, train together. I watched them spar each other. And all I'm going to tell you is Sullivan Barrera, he did very well. Especially in contrast to the other opponents that Golovkin sparred, or maybe I should say the other sparring partners that Golovkin sparred that same day. Barrera did very well. Barrera is a very, very talented fighter. Now let me talk about what this would mean for Barrera. If Barrera were to win this fight, this win will catapult his career to new heights. I mean, it may even be argued that he could be favorite to beat Kovalev if Barrera were to win this fight. Barrera, no doubt, would have a weight advantage, a size advantage, I should say. He has good height. He has rhythm, boxing ability. He knows the sweet science. He has a Cuban pedigree. So he has a good chance of pulling off the upset and winning this fight. This is a very, very good matchup. So I'll leave it at that. I'll do a breakdown prediction video later. But that's all I got for now. I'm on to the next one. Watching Dante's Boxing Nation.